This is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a bodyweight rotator cuff exercise. Now, this is a cool one because there really aren't any other bodyweight rotator cuff exercises, at least that I'm aware of. This is based on a drill, a mobility drill actually, that I learned from my friend Will Chung, a master of movement. Um, this guy knows just about everything there is to know about how the human body works and functions from a movement pattern perspective. Now, the drill that he had me doing was, because my shoulder flexibility and mobility is horrible, I was doing this kind of a movement, basically using the muscles of the rear delts to rotate the shoulders and actually get mobility by, not by pushing and forcing yourself back using external um, bracing, but by actually using the muscles to draw and pull backwards, activating the serratus anterior and kind of getting some rotation, as he puts it like a foosball rod, as you're doing the exercise as you can see kind of how that goes. Now, the exercise that I came up with is based on this exact movement and the whole foosball concept. I absolutely love this. And um, it's gonna be very effective for developing not only the rear delts, but shoulder stability in through the rotator cuff. Now, if you've ever had any rotator cuff issues, um, you're gonna to wanna to start a little bit higher up. I've got the bar set to about lower chest height, and that gives me a decent amount of resistance. Um, you can start with the bar higher, to use even less resistance. So you're kind of like an inverted row where you're taking up more of your body weight. So what you're gonna be doing, gripping onto the bar with your body at an angle and pulling your body up and backwards, basically pulling yourself up towards the bar, which is basically that external rotation, kind of like an L, um, L fly for your shoulders. When you're doing the exercise, make sure that you're keeping those arms 90 degrees so you're coming down into that foosball kind of pattern. If you kind of get tired and you come down to the top of the exercise, it's okay to kind of sag down a little bit. I'll allow that. When you start the exercise again on the next rep, make sure you're getting into that proper position for the movement. So here's what it looks like. We'll keep you in suspense any longer. So index fingers on the smooth rings of the Olympic bar. Like I said, bar is about lower chest right here. Set your feet forward, elbows 90 degrees, and then As you can see, if I want to make this easier, putting the bar up here, having less of your body weight as you're doing it, would make it easier. So keep that in mind as you're doing the exercise. This is a great exercise for developing the rear delts and the rotator cuff for shoulder stability and uh, basically muscle development in that area.